I seem to be in a bit of trouble. Something like that? Dead. Someone hit him hard. Me? Please. The cops should be here any minute. I'm in your hands. Should it come to that? April 20th, 9.31 a.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby number three. Don't know how to play before. Oh, panicked. Palm sweaty. I can admit, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous, Apollo. Eek. Ah, good morning. Who is this handsome little gentleman? Oh, good morning, sir. I'm sorry. You look tense. Justice. Wound up tight. I am. I'm sorry. Oh, wind up, sir. Ugh, this boy. I swing my hair back and forth. As you know, your client today is a good friend of mine. I wouldn't want to let him down if you catch my drift. Drift gotten, sir. I'm all over that drift. Like a silky legend. As it happens, I dined with him the night of the murder. We can't let this case fall through. Yes, yes, I'm fine, sir. The client. As I disappear. <laughs> my name is Apollo Justice. If, this is, if it isn't clear already, I am a new attorney, and today is my first trial. Not that I'm worried or anything like that. The defendant has been accused of murder. Your six o'clock shadow. It's looking very strange. Good, uh, good, uh, good morning, sir. Question mark? You, you're not going to say anything? Morning. <clears throat> morning. It's all up to you today. First trial? I'm nervous. Medium? Cardiac arrest? Still, no answer. Am I supposed to say something? Help? Can someone give me answers? Oh, so you are fine? I'm fine, sir. Uh, can you oh, Mr. Fine, is it? Uh, uh, um, I don't think so. I did remember you having an odd name. Uh, well, off to a great start, I, I suppose. Um, are you sure you okay at me? With me? Um, I guess? Question mark, question mark? Okay, I need to focus. First trial, here comes justice. If my name is not justice, then I don't know what is. Tw April 20th, 10 o'clock AM, district court. Courtroom number two. Wobble, 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 wobble. The court is now in session. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Um, the defense is, uh, fine. I mean, ready, uh, your, your honor. Mind going blank. Don't panic. Don't panic. Too late. Too late. Your name is Mr. Justice. This is your first trial. Yes, uh, your honor. But I'm fine. Really. I, I promise. <clears throat> Quite sure. Your voice sounds a little strained. <clears throat> uh, um, Mr. Garvin. Yes, your honor. I was wondering, under the pressure that you would be heading up this case. That was my intention, yes. However, the defense attorney must always see to his client's wishes. And my client specifically requested Mr. Justice. Um, well, of course, he wants justice. But to entrust his case to this greenhorn, why? I do not treat when I say that you're the best defense attorney in town. Mr. Garvin. Uh, well, damn, sir. Uh, Garvin, the gotcha. judge. <laughs> this. Then let's begin. The defense may enter the courtroom. My purple. Sir, state your name. This is truly an unfortunate turn of events. I'm sorry we had to meet again under these circumstances. Long time no see, Mr. Wright. Let's put this past behind us. These days, I'm really Phoenix Wright, the piano player. Mr. Wright, how could this happen? Seriously, I won't speak of it further then. If the prosecution would be so kind as to explain the charges, Mr. Payne. To think I saw you enter this room, a fresh attorney, and now see you leave in chains? What's the pain? Supple ever, I see. I uh, am. Um. <clears throat> the crime occurred at the Boston Ball Club, a Russian restaurant. Okay. The friend of Mr. Phoenix Wright took the victim, a customer, while I swerve with my hairstyle and hit him. Wow. On the head, smack. Kill him cold. <clears throat> a customer at the restaurant, you say? And defended? You say he was? Who? The pianist of the club. It seems Phoenix Wright. A pianist? This is his weapon that took the victim's life. 
and grape juice. A bottle of grape juice. Yummy, yummy. The grape juice is apparently our defendant's drink of choice. The courtroom accepts the delicate bottle of evidence. Add it to the courtroom that I'm stupidly just put up in the screen for you to look at. Something to no justice. All the evidence is filled in the courtroom. Look at it, okay? Press it. Make a practice of checking it frequently. The courtroom record? Right. Use R1 to look at the evidence so far of action. So the victim was a customer? But just who was this? Um, Shadow. We believe he was a traveler, your honor. Uh, a traveler? According to his passport, he has been out of the country for a number of years. He had only returned to his country recently, though it's a place of residence is unclear. If he has some sort of connection with the defendant, that it too is unclear, Mr. Honor. I'm so sorry. We believe this first met at the Borsa Blau Club. If they had only just met, then why murder? Perhaps the victim slighted the defendant's piano playing. That does not appear to have been the case. No, the motive has nothing to do with the defendant's lack of playing skills. At least not the piano is playing. Let this photo explain what I mean. The stereo slumped over like booty cheeks. As we can see, the game of poker was the progress of the crime. Wait a second. I just farted. I'm sorry. It's poker gambling? Isn't that illegal? That's a crime in of itself. Rubber, 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 rubber. Indeed, it appears a defendant, as I move my hair, has fallen to become the baddest sort of criminal. The basis of them all. Objection! Objection! It is true that the defendant was engaged in the game of poker with the victim. Yes. Yet it was only that a game in the purest sense, a competition, your honor. A, a competition? What? 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 what, what, what? Yes. A test of wits, a silent clash of passions. Oh yes. Only the cards, their backs, whether in blue flame, know its final outcome. Uh, come again? I had a brain fart. The cards on the timer had blue backs, your honor. Blue them, okay? It's blue. I believe the defendant was waxing, pointing, and tempting to mass those present in the press women. Oh yes. They will be first order business here then to find out more about this fatal game of cards. <laughs> Very well, defendant. You would testify to the court about the poker competition held the night of the crime. My pleasure. Witness testimony. The competition. I am a pianist by trade, yet I can hardly play at all. Okay, why, why can't she play? My real job is to take on interest customers over the poker table. Interesting. The room where we play and the competition there are the club's main attractions. Hmm, the rules are simple. We play a game of poker using two deck of cards. That's all it is, a game. And our customers are happy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> a pianist who can't play piano? Better than a defense attorney who can't defend. <clears throat> Very well. Defense may have been the cross examination. Right, Your Honor. My first cross examination. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Are you right? You sweat bullets. I am? Bullets? Where? Well, yeah, I need to get down. It's a figure of speech, Justice. Your voice sounds strength and raspy too. My brain feels strained and raspy, sir. Yes, it does. You watched me perform cross examination many times. Get through your head. Though you've never done one yourself, haven't you? Care for a refresher? What do I do? Should I ask Garvin for a refresher and cross examination? Nah, we can go in there balls deep and we'll just figure it out. Yeah. Oh boy. Cross examination. Hmm. Let's see. I am a pianist by trade, yet I can hardly play at all. You can hardly play? Seriously? Oh, I play sometimes, when it customers demand it. Like? So, I play them one song and they usually all they want. Was that supposed to be a bullshit now? 
Uh, the title of pianist is only a mask, a respectful face, I wear for the world at large. Uh, okay. Then, uh, why are you really at the Browsing Ball Club? My real job is to take on instant customers over oh, the poker table. I definitely have to hold that one. They pay you just to play poker. <laughs> they would seem to be the case. I am professional after all. Come on. Uh, you have to take pride in that statement. Hmm? It's just hard for an honest, hardworking member of society like me to imagine. Yes, your imagination was always a bit limited, Winston. Uh, uh, what, what the frick you just say? Hmm? I played poker for seven years in that little room, and yet I've never lost once. I am the baddest bitch. What, uh, what? You see why the customers come now? Defeat the undef undefeated poker champion. It's quite a draw. That is, quite a draw. Wait, you never lost once? Not even once? As I've said, I'm a professional. He played poker for seven years and never lost. Is that even possible? I haven't played poker myself, so I have no idea if that's actually like liable. Mm. The room we played for the competition is the club main attractions. The room in the crime scene photo is an attraction? Seriously? It has quite a history, actually. The Bulls Bowl Club used to be a gathering spot for the black market types back in the day. Black market? I'm sweating bullets again. God, all of the past things like the black market are only for the silver screen nowadays. Suffice it, it's say that where a lot of deals being made under the table, right there in that room, is one of them. A smoky room. Gambling hoods, you know? Just looking at this picture makes me feel bad. The boss gathered around the table, cutting deals safe from the eyes of the law. Meanwhile, a goon keeps watch through the small window. That small thinking linking we go. I can practice it, practice it now. That window doesn't look like it would be good for keeping look out a little else. That's about it. But there's tricks to it, though it was common knowledge to the regulars. At any rate, they come to play, poker in their room, stepped in history. Despite the dark past, it was all just good fun. Hmm. The rules are simple. You play a game of poker using two decks for cards. Two decks of cards? A simple measure to prevent cheating. If you alternate two decks, no one can sleep in cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are something else a lot noticed. In addition to the cards on the table, there are some lying scattered on the floor. That is dirty. Precisely. The cards on the table, upon the floor, each one form a complete deck. A crime scene painted blue by a soup set of cards. It's poetic, right? Really? Indeed, we use type two types of cards at the table at the club. One deck of cards were red, the other blue. Hmm. Mm -hmm. As I recall, in poker, you make five card hands. I see how it would be easy to cheat. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, the game of hands. Hmm? Seriously? You can actually cheat? Oh! This competition you're talking about? I believe the court understands the nature of the game sufficiently. That, uh, uh, that, that's right. It was a simple game after all. No, sir. No, it was not. Are you sure? Uh, I uh, think so. People are not murdered over simple games, Mr. Justice. Defendant, you were in the room the very moment that crime occurred. What were you doing? Yet you claim no connection to the crime? Answer me. Now that's strange. What strange? What strange? I was testifying about the competition that night. Asking me about the crime at this point is against the rules, your honor. Oh! Of course, I expected to hear a cry of rejection from the defense. What? Oh God, it's coming on my paycheck. You don't dis disappear yet, Justice. It's sir! Right, there is something I may like to make clear. Namely, your connection to the case at hand, and I'd like to hear from you. Sure, why not? Very well. The defendant will amend his testimony. Just one little press. Just, just one. And I've got myself a whole new testimony. Let's see what I can do. I plead silence regarding 
with the murder, but I would say I never touched the murder weapon. I, I say I never touched the murder weapon. I please silence. Silence, you say? The defendant has the right to refuse to testify. I haven't forgotten everything about the law. But why? That clay puts you at a disadvantage. And it's your job to turn that around in our favor, yes. Great. Like I didn't have enough to do already. Justice, didn't you detect anything odd about that testimony? Huh? Wait, something you said did ring a little strangely. Though just one, what was it? When you figure it out, I'll suggest pressing evidence. Evidence? That contradicts the testimony. Let's see. I am a pianist by trade, yet yeah, I can hardly pay at all. Real job, customers, the room where we play, main attraction, the rules are simple. Game of deck of cards, a lot of this, a game of deck of cards, I play silence regarding. I will never say to touch a murder weapon. I think it's the blue bottle because it says it has the picture's print. So you say you didn't touch the murder weapon? This grape juice bottle right here, right? So I said. Uh. Something the matter, Justice? <laughs> Too bad, our defense never turned and never learned how to play them. What's that, Mr. Payne? I examined the bottle in question, you see. And it was covered with the defendant's fingerprints. No need to shout, damn it! Shut the fucking mouth! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Excuse the yelling can damage the judge's ears in our case. But. What about my cards of steel? Anyway, anyway. I'm sorry about that. What is so strange about the fingerprints on a bottle in a restaurant? Well, that's true. The print alone. Uh, 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 oh, there would proof a thing if there were number fingerprints. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? But the fingerprints on the murder weapon were upside down. Upside down? What does that mean? It means he is withholding the bottle in and there can only be one reason for that. Hmm? Flashback? Oh, okay. Yes. I like my flux. Yeah, to bring some with the bottle. To bring it. Bing, bing. Like that. Bing, bing. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Garvin, I think things took a turn for the worst. Oh? See, no problem, Justice. Huh? What? The only thing that matters is the truth. Defend it! Can you explain your fingerprints on the bottom of the courtroom? Answer this question now! I stand by my plea of silence regarding the murder. For now. Hmm. <laughs> Not very corruptive, are you? That can only hurt your case. I'm sure he's uncovered because he's hiding something. That must be the reason. Objection! Your Honor, you seem to have forgotten something. And what uh, what have that been? On night of the crime, who was it who reported the murder to the police? Reported? Uh, well, I was defended. Mr. Wright, but, but still that, that. Really? Uh, yes, well, according to the case file, the murder was reported from the near of the scene by a call from the defendant's cell phone. Near the uh, scene? Let's take a look at the diagram of the murder case, shall we? The victim was murdered by a spy room in the basement. Two little floors down from ground level. Of course, the cell phones they can't get reception so far down. The defendant used the stairs in the hallway to go above ground. The call came from the first floor of the restaurant. I see. And this is the phone floor. The defendant could have just fled the scene of the crime. If he so chose, he fulfilled his duty as a citizen and reported it to the authorities. And he claimed he was being uncooperative? <laughs> nice save, Mr. Garvin. I better not waste this. I think the prosecution has toyed with our client enough of time. I'm being uh, toyed. I assure you, no one is more serious about the. Uh, what was it you said? The defendant was in the room the very moment the crime occurred? How can he possibly know this? That's a good question. How indeed? 
The answer is simple, your honor. The prosecution has a defense witness. Decisive. <laughs> You're as good as to say you are. So someone else was in the room the night of the crime? That must have been they witnessed the crime. Everything till now was just a form of justice. Are you ready? I am definitely ready. Very well. The prosecution may call his first witness to the stand. Oh, and give him some Christmas cookies. What the fuck is this woman? The witness will stay her profession and profession. Damn it. Hold on, just a moment. Where the witness? I can't see her. The place in her hand. I suppose that she has been threatened by the defense of their mother looking horns. Uh, so I use a little hair gel. Relax, people. Goddamn. Uh, no fear. If any horns point in your direction, I will cut them off. <laughs> oh, are you sure? I swear on my gravel. Please, come on in. Is it violence against hair or crime, Your Honor? Uh, well, if you are sure, it's okay. Just gonna balance these plates of ramen noodles, okay? Ooh. Um, now the prosecution. Ooh, what the fuck is what? Wait a minute. What the prosecution care to explain the witnesses, um, paraphernalia? That camera? Uh, yes. She's a professional, Your Honor. Those are merely the tools of a trade. And that will be... My name is Olga Ari. I am employed as a waitress in Barsha Blow Cold Restaurant. Then, uh, why the camera? Of course, it's my pride to serve the Bartree. This is the naming restaurant. But I also perform, how is it said, other services. I serve all of it. Take it, one of those services take... Da-da! Uh, like, for example, this one. The picture I kept underneath my coat. Oof. That's uh, the defendant? Indeed. Under that murder. Man in the white hat. This one has gone kaboot. Indeed. This is the victim. I, I know. Rub, 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 rub. Order, order, order. Shut the fuck up. This is quite a piece of evidence that is casually dropped in our laps. Hmm. It seemed the way as the job cold bells the boss could lapse the customers casually. It is hot, steamy, and given third degree burns that the courtroom casually accept this new evidence. The court record, uh, okay, I'll put this new Now, witness, where were you at the time of the murder? Hmm? I was in the room, Hido, to be called it. Excuse me, the Hido? This XX? It is the room where famous gangster Bagatti was arrested. It is the room where murder take place? Ah, murder? Damn, got your face. Look at your utter surprise. It is lovely. I will post it on 4chan for a lot of people to mock you. Photos will be murdered and we'll write which ones you want a copy of. So there were three murders, three people at the time of the crime. The victim, Shada, Mr. Wright, Oga, Ori, our witness. And if Mr. Wright isn't the killer, then that means uh, it's her. Gotta be, gotta be her. Oh well, witness. Hmm. You will testify to the court, but the night defense. Right fucking now. Witness testimony. That faithful night. All that night, customer asked me to deal cards for the game. If we will stop it here. 